Hey folks, welcome once again to yet another episode of Swill and Grog's wonderful world of beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these appalling times that we're in. Anyway, today we're going to be having a look at another brew that comes all the way from South Africa. It's Gosso Milk Stout, which is 6% alcohol by volume, and it's brewed and bottled over in South Africa by SAB, South African Breweries. So I've never tried this before. I've always been curious to try it. It's uh, one of the few mass-produced uh, stouts that I, uh, or milk stouts, I should say, that I, I know of. Some nice smoke there when I cracked it open. And it's a twist top, as you can see. So I'll pour it out here into this uh, Spiegelau stout glass. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't really much of a surge that needed to settle there. Well, it's not nitro, is it? So uh, anyway, as far as the appearance goes on camera, it would look jet black to you. You know, let me hold it up to the light now. Very dark brown. Um, and uh, about one finger there of uh, tan head. Let's move on to the aroma. Alright, definitely getting a lot of, uh, you know, dark roasted malts there. Yeah. What, what uh, you would expect from a uh, milk stout, of course. Well, um, we've talked about the appearance and uh, the aroma, so uh, I'm keen to dive into this one. So, uh, cheers to you all, folks. Hmm. All right, well, up front, yeah, a massive hit of uh, dark roasted malts. Um, getting a bit of... Um, you know, coffee there and chocolate. Uh, not much in the way of bitterness, except for a, you know, ever so slight uh, coffee bitterness that uh, lingers in the palate. Um, so far, so good. Mm. The body is somewhere between medium and full, leaning towards medium, interestingly. Yeah, it's leaving some uh, nice uh, lacing there. Mm. Yeah. Definitely goes down smooth. Now this is uh, definitely a hard one to uh, stumble upon uh, here in Australia. You know, you might have more luck if you're over in uh, Western Australia where they have uh, more of a, you know, South African population or, you know, um, people who've immigrated here. Uh, there are a lot of bottle shops there that I know of that uh, sell this and Carling Black Label and Castle Lager. Hmm. But I believe uh, I got this from down in Melbourne from a uh, South African butcher store. Now, um, or butcher shop, I should say. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. It was a few weeks back. But um, it wasn't too bad by Australian standards. I'll, of course, uh, flash that price up on screen. Hmm. It's, probably the not, it's probably not the best milk stout uh, that I've tasted. Hmm. I'm sort of not kind of getting that syrupy smoothness, um, that, uh, that velvety sort of mouthfeel, you know, that you'd uh, expect and... Not a, quite as sweet as uh, I would expect. Mm. But, you know, it's not bad. You could certainly, um, you know, you know, enjoy a few of these uh, if you, you know, well, you know, felt like drinking it, uh, you know, a cold uh, winter's night after a lovely roast meal. Mm. Yeah, no, not bad, but it certainly doesn't blow my mind and it's definitely not the best milk stout I've uh, sampled but uh not it's not not too bad anyway i'll have one last gulp of it and uh give it a score out of 10 i guess hmm all right well all in all not a bad uh brew 
but definitely doesn't blow my mind. So I'd probably be inclined to give this one a uh, 8 out of 10, yeah. So there you go folks, an 8 out of 10 for Castle Milk Stout. So uh, do check it out if you uh, have the uh, opportunity. It's definitely worth a try. Hmm. Rightio, well uh, that's it for me. I'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy the rest of this of course. And uh, just get the... Uh, oh no, oh, yeah, there's a little bit left. Yeah, so I'll just enjoy the rest of this and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next review. But uh, until then, fare thee well all.